Great to have you with us once again this Sunday as I bring our weekly message. It's a new way. Embrace the new. Let's pray. Father God, today we want to hear from you. Lord, speak into our lives, speak into our homes, speak into our situation. Lord, help us to let go of some things. Help us to pick up some things. May we be guided by your Holy Spirit. May we be guided by your word. Speak to us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's be honest. It's been hard to let go of what we've known. It's been hard, maybe, to move forward. It's hard to let go of things that we've held on to for so long. The way life was, and the way life is today for us. Some things are no doubt much harder. Some things, no doubt, are a little better. And other things are still a struggle for us. Let us come today with fresh eyes. Let us see things differently. Just because you are used to it doesn't make it normal. Lots of talk at the moment about the new normal or what normal will look like now or what life will be like in the future what life will be like next week and in the months ahead and what things will look like now forever for us. Jesus has opened a new and living way for us. We are to be living sacrifices. The old way has to die so the new way can come. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. Don't conform, be transformed. When God brings us a new assignment or focus, or leading, we see it as a threat because we don't want to let go of the old way or the old way of doing things because it felt familiar. Any hoarders out there? Do you love to hang on to stuff? Cleaning out my parents' garage a few years ago was very confronting. Broken toasters, old broken umbrellas, old newspapers, broken microwave ovens. They would just hold on to stuff for no reason. It was downstairs and out of sight, filling up their garage. I don't know why you need six broken toasters. The hoarder's motto. Yes, you know it. I might need that one day. But it doesn't work! Some things have had their day. And that's okay. You might need to change something. Or stop doing something. I'll let God speak to you about that. What is filling up your life? What is filling up your time? What is filling up how you work? Do not conform to the pattern of this world. But let God bring transformation. Confirmation is how the world works from the outside in. Transformation is how God works 
from the inside out. God is teaching us, you and I, to set a new agenda and it comes from within. Let God guide us by his Holy Spirit. Let God guide us by his word. Because I'm sure you would agree with me that this has been and still is to come some degree of pain. There have been plans that we've had in place that haven't come about. There have been hopes, desires, opportunities that have now been interrupted. Things put on the back burner or are now just not going to happen. It's hard. We haven't even had the funeral for what we expected this year to be. For some of us, saying goodbye is hard. Letting go is hard. Your job is gone. Your home life has been disrupted. You're trying to find a new way. Remember the Israelites in the Exodus. They had to leave what they knew. Even though it was hard and painful, it was familiar and it was their normal. Exodus chapter 12, verse 31, starting there. During the night, Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Get up, leave my people, you and the Israelites. Go, go worship the Lord as you have requested. Take your flocks and herds as you have said and go and also bless me. The Egyptians urged the people to hurry and leave the country. For otherwise, they said, we will all die. Come on, hurry up, go, leave. Death, drama, disaster. Maybe for you, this has been a time of reform, refocus, renew. Time has been our gift. Time has been a blessing. Working from home. Maybe you've discovered new things about yourself. Those things you used to put off now get done. The lesson of letting go is finding a new balance, a new rhythm in life. The way God changes us is transformation from the inside out. We've been stuck inside. And that's where God does his greatest work, from the inside. Paul and Silas knew this. They were stuck in a prison cell. Let us have more faith, more hope, more optimism. God wants us to unlearn the way the world works. Acts chapter 16, 25 and 26. About, nin about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. They're in a prison cell and the other prisoners were listening to what they were doing. Then suddenly there was such a violent earthquake and the foundations of the prison, prison are shaken. All at once the prison doors fly open and everyone's chains came loose. God was doing a new thing. See how God works? Don't hold on so tight. Loosen your grip. Loosen your grip. Relax and let go and let God lead and let him guide. I know we quote this verse a lot. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have to you, for you, declare the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. I know the plans I have for you, God says. They are plans to prosper you and not harm you. To give you hope and a future. Do not conform, but be transformed. God has a new way. We are moving slowly 
from the inside to back outside. Be ready. Listen to this. The reason, there is a reason, friends. You live where you live. There is a reason you work where you work. There is a reason you go to the school where you go to. There is a reason you attend the church that you attend. And none of those reasons have anything to do with you. You are placed there by God to make a difference and to make an impact to those around you. In your neighbourhood, at your job, in your school, through your church, God is at work. Using me, using you, for there is a new way. It's easy to fall into the trap of believing that your life just belongs to you. The best version of life is one lived on track and following God's plans and purposes. Loosen that grip and embrace the new. Loosen that grip and embrace the new. I believe that is a word for someone listening and watching today. Loosen your grip. Embrace all that God has for you. May God bless you. Amen.